city scapes. No appreciable boundary, architectural indeterminacy, that vast sheet of fluted concrete fires imagination into life, steely in the morning sun, blue on white. Black figures outlined against the mass, an air of Chopinesque, an intimate study of the neglected human psyche, troubled, forlorn, worn. The latest spacesuit in acrylic steel, feel of velvet. Our orisons shall summon whom, what apogee must we aspire to, what flat levels of horizon gaze, these and beyond the cities we have built, huge empires we have formed, what unimaginable emptiness beckons us further on. Look through the glassy pavement and observe layer upon layer of domesticity, of threading, never resting commerce, long, long afternoons of leisure promised to our fathers, then removed. While we dream of moons, planets, universes, more than a single cosmos. The ice of faith lay cracked about our feet, monochrome against a sea of fire, tumultuously unfaith, piled higher than all earth's cliffs, shrieked out in blinding rays of pure white light, its treachery. The seas doge, married between ice and fire, copulated with a thing of flame, a terror unimagined by the virgin sensibility, her mind's abortion from beyond the lunar cycle. The pale horse is not death, it is disease, triumphant, virus, degenerate, victorious, thrown up to ward off horror in despair of healthful remedy, unstabled, panic-stricken flaring nostrils, whinnying. The vertical, the horizontal, depth and time, we squeezed into interstices, flattened out or centrifugally flung across dim, outstretched, and all diminished years that close upon a black hole opening on a wormhole of despair. Unimaginable crushing spiral, the width of a hair where we are milled and grounded down to nothing, all earth and all things earthly, minced, evaporated, undistilled, thrown as mist 
into a distant cosmos, lost. Our skyscraper palaces survey the dismal prospect. We turn from our panoramic windows, draw the blinds, <laughs>